so I thought I'd clear up the rumors so you hear here first. Ah! Probably not gonna go too heavy. Or are we? channel for yet another video. I know, I know it's been a long time and I'm so, so sorry. But better late than never, I thought. And there's a lot I need to update you guys on. That is especially if you don't follow me on Instagram, then maybe you're up to loop, maybe not. But I do have some fun things I want to show you here in this video. That's been going on. First of all, I hope you guys are doing well, having a fun summer to the best ability and whatnot. I have been spending a lot of time up north at the lake. And so I have a lot of GoPro footage of that. <laughs> that I'm excited to show you guys. I haven't shown you anything with the GoPro yet on this channel, so some cool content. <laughs> Definitely fun to film with. Bro, that was sick. Um, other than that, some big updates on meets this year. So typically I compete about three times a year. On the schedule this year, it was supposed to be Sheffield, which was my sponsor SBD's meet that they were putting on in the UK. That ended up getting canceled or postponed till 2021. So hoping that's still going to be able to take place because that's definitely a big meet. Other than that, IPF World was supposed to happen. So that is out of the books. And then recently, USAPL Rod Nationals in addition was canceled this year. You know, kind of a bummer. Definitely haven't competed since last October. So it's been quite a while. So um, I definitely want to show everyone what, I, what I've got, what I've been training so hard for. I know last time I stepped on the platform at Raw Nationals 2019, yes, 2020, Amanda. Um, that was the last time I competed. I wasn't 100% healthy, kind of injured my hamstring about two weeks out from the meet. So I matched my exact total from Worlds for that meet. So definitely haven't shown everything. I haven't put everything out there. So like, what's next, right? USA Powerlifting actually just announced recently that people are now able to set American records at local meets, which is super exciting because usually you have to do that at a national meet or obviously like international, so national meets or higher. So definitely I'm looking to, just because I haven't competed, like I said, since October and I've been training hard through all of this that I want to put a total out there and just for, you know, just for the fun of it. With that being said, I am on the lookout for some type of local meet to hit before the end of the year, being that this is my last year as a junior. I turned 23 this past May, so after that I age out of juniors and I kind of want to set those records a little bit higher, if you know what I'm saying. I'm thinking like October, November, December, kind of hard to know with meets being like postponed or canceled, like what to do. There isn't as many options. And it's kind of like hard to say at this point this far out, but definitely, definitely planning on doing one. Local meets are still going on for the most part. I have been training at home. So like, I should probably show you guys. If you can see right behind me, this new cable setup that I got here. Hold on, let me take you off. It's a matrix, I believe Aurora cable they, they labeled it. Pull up bar up top here. And then you can obviously like just the cable, Oops. wow, it's like on video, I can't even do it. Um, and then we have like a 200 pound weight stack over here. Sorry, this is totally a mess. I did end up finding a dumbbell rack that I'm, I'm picking up today. So this is definitely going to be more organized. Um, and then it came with all these different cable attachments and whatnot for the setup. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, like I said, oh, 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 and I got, also got this. Um, little incline bench setup moment. So I only had this uh, flat bench before. But yeah, like I said, I've been training a lot at home, been upgrading the gym here and there as much as I can, um, just so I really don't have to go anywhere for me. In order to get to a gym, it's also like, it's like an hour drive for me. So it just makes more sense to kind of train at home if I can. Other than that, I'm going to be showing you some lifts from the here for the next few days and uh like i said some footage from up north it's definitely a lot of fun minnesota land of 10,000 lakes so <laughs> maybe i'll figure out how to put the gopro on the tube we'll see <laughs> i actually also went ahead and picked up two 27 gallon um bins here today to put 
Kelvin and my gym equipment in just because the whole gym bag situation before it wasn't working, everything was on the floor. So uh, I thought I'd take you through it. So here we have the lineup of all my different SVD sleeves and whatnot. I wear a size medium if you guys are curious. I wish I could wear a size small, but they just won't fit over my calves. Then moving on, we have the OG belt, the SBD 13 millimeter lever belt. Um, we have the lineup of the wrist wraps, different colors over there. I wear the SBD flexible long ones, so they're all they're all that same um, kind and whatnot. So got the white and then some black too. Shoes wise, I mean, we got the OG Joy Flex ones. They're actually called the Adidas HVC 2s. They're actually pretty cheap. They're like 60 bucks. They're just a super flat bottom shoe. They're really, really light. They work well all around for squats, bench. I sometimes deadlift in them as well. Then I have the Reebok Power Lights. I honestly prefer deadlifting in these, but they're kind of hard to find. And then some straps and the squat shoes I don't really wear the heels anymore the Romelio 3s and the Reebok Light Sea Lifters down there but yeah definitely works well a bit more organized my bin is at least <laughs> I didn't organize Calvin's yet but uh he can do that <laughs> So I thought I'd clear up the rumors so you'd hear it here first, but there's things going around, people saying that maybe I'd move down to the 76 kilo weight class that they're supposedly adding. Rumor is, well, actually I think they are, is that they're removing the 72 kilo class completely. So it's supposed to be going 63, 69, 76, then 84. But there's no way in hell I would ever do that until I like hit what I like potentially can hit as an 84 like basically I want to be squatting and deadlifting 600 pounds in a meet before I even consider dropping from 84 to 76 and that's quite a bit of a cut there as it is and I'm feeling really really strong as an 84 right now and I don't think I've entirely like hit my peak potential yet here so you heard it here first absolutely not doing that right now not saying never because never say never. Because I mean, who knows, could be fun eventually, but not now, absolutely not now. So um, I'm not sure when that's gonna be implemented, those weight class like additions, just because there was eight men's weight classes and seven before, so now they're trying to like even them out, I guess, or something like that. Because like there's such a big gap from 63 to 72 and 72 to 84, so yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we're not really doing anything special today. Just another squat and bench session on the menu. Probably not gonna go too heavy. Or are we? Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna throw on my SBD knee sleeves. Quick tip, for, for gas, or guys, I guess, if you wear compression pants, put your pants over your heel so your leggings, compression pants, stay down as you're pulling your knee sleeves up. Look at how easy that was. Maybe I'll wear these squatting. These are the these are the new Jordans I picked up. You can see the Chicago ones, I think. Maybe I'll try squatting in those. Otherwise, I've been squatting a lot in these <laughs> Joey Flex ones, we like to call them. Maybe I'll try to be stylish today. <laughs> Probably going to head up north later today. Definitely gonna take you along for that. Got some fun activities planned up there. Um, always something going on. We're definitely going to uh, just see what we can get out of the squat session here. I'm not sure what to expect out of it, but took some flight pre-workout from BPN along with our endo pump, and then I mixed up some of the interflight lemonade BCAAs here. I really, really like drinking this in the summer. It's just so, 
It's just so cold and refreshing. Let's go. Oh, this is nice service. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, Chloe. Come here. She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there's the babies. Okay, let's let's get you strapped in somehow. I have to strap her in on my ankle because otherwise she tries to jump out. And she hates the water. I don't know why she does it. <laughs> Yo, this is actually some serious bicep work here. Oh! Okay, you're getting brave, girly. Ah! We're not exactly allowed to be on the beach with, with this one, so kayak it has been. Because <laughs> she just has to go everywhere. I will say though, kayaking just kills my biceps. Maybe I'm just too heavy. Or Chloe's heavy. Or this whole rig is heavy. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. Um, we've been doing a lot of kayaking. I need to be brave in paddleboard. I'm just scared of falling in. <laughs> it's ball right. life. Yeah, ball is life. Oh, ball is not life. <laughs> just straight up Kobe. BPN, all star athlete. Come at me, bro. Great job, Shaq. So this is the RV, the fifth wheel up here. We got a little seasonal spot. Laid down all this sod here last week. And got the deck over there. Got Mama Kelly, Brandon, Sam, and uh, Monty's mowing the lawn. But yeah, a little, nice little spot over here. And then the lake is back over there. There's like three different lakes, so it's super nice. Are you the chauffeur today? I'm the skipper of the Monty USS the Chloe. <laughs> Mom Kelly, long ah. awaited. When are you gonna do your next feature in the video? Um, whatever you ask me to, I when guess. When are you gonna work out next? <laughs> Tomorrow. She's gonna do a squat workout next. Teach yeah. her how to squat. I'm gonna be like, quarter squat! No, I will go to depth. Okay, okay. Is that waterproof? Do you have anything to say to the people? Hi everyone, how you doing? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ready? There you go. Oh. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Festivity if we didn't forget the boat key. Yeah!